But right now we want to check in with our friends from the Animal Rescue League of Iowa as we do every Friday morning. Megan Davies is there. Hey, buddy, how are you? Hi, uh, doing good. Our animals are staying nice and warm indoors <laughs> with these chilly weather conditions we've had. So I it's see going that. very well. Yeah, and, and who do you have with you here today? Uh, this is Purdy. So she is right there at the edge of my quarter right there. She is a parakeet that we have available for adoption. Um, she's been with us for about two weeks. Uh, she was an owner surrender uh, from us. So she's been in a home before. She's very, very sweet. Um, she really enjoys her mirror enrichment. She likes to make sure that she is ready for any interviews. So she prepared this morning for this interview <laughs> and cleaned herself. Oh, um, these guys live about 10 to 15 years with really, really good care. Um, it's a really good starter bird. If you're thinking about getting a bird or you've wanted to get a bird, but you're unsure of what kind of commitment you want to make because birds generally live a lot longer than people know, a parakeet is a great starter bird. It lets you know, can I take this kind of animal on? Because it is a unique animal. So you also have to think about vet bills. Most vets like are used to cats and dogs. To, to have a bird vet, it might take a little bit longer and a little bit more expensive to get those exams in. So this is a really great bird to just kind of figure out if this is the kind of commitment you're looking for. Megan, how often do you get birds uh, like parakeets and things like that in? Yeah, that's a really good question. It kind of depends. Usually if one comes in a lot, like a set of three will come in right afterwards, completely unrelated. But we get birds in pretty frequently. I'd say about every other month we're getting some sort of new bird in. The most common birds that we get in are cockatiels and parakeets like this. Um, we do get occasional uh, macaws and Amazons in and a little bit higher intelligent birds. Um, but these are the most common birds that we get in. All right, so you do get the, the parrot variety that you mentioned. Okay. All right. Yeah, we had that hoarding case back in October, um, and we adopted out all of those birds officially uh, this month. So That's it was awesome. super great to see all those guys that came from not great conditions go into very loving homes. Well, that's what the Animal Rescue League is all about, getting animals into loving homes. But uh, part of the way you have to do this is to raise money. We warn people uh, that you have to get your gourmet apples ordered before they're all gone. And we understand that that is the case. They're all gone. Is that right? We have sold out, so Good. there is nothing else. Yes, thank you everybody that bought gourmet apples. Um, I know we didn't sell out last year, so it's exciting that we sold out this year. It's very promising for 2021. Um, those gourmet apples are gonna be really delicious for dogs and humans alike. All I'm right, really excited. You do, that you do have those. something for Valentine's Day though lined up. We wanna make sure yes. people know about, right? Yes, that's correct. That's our photo shoot. So in lieu of trying to sell apples, come do a photo shoot. So if you and your beau, uh, AKA your dog or cat or guinea pig, we've seen it all, uh, <laughs> want to get dressed up in cute little outfits and come take a picture. It's only $10 for a high resolution digital picture. Um, and it's got a cute, adorable backdrop, lots of hearts, total love it. Um, it's on February 13th between uh, noon and 4 p.m. And you do have to sign up for appointments due to COVID and following oh, all sure. those guidelines, but it's quick and easy. You're in and out and you've got a really great photo. There you go. That's a lot of fun. And maybe some people have some horses and with the colder weather, you want to be able to ride them, but you want to be able to ride them inside. You have something lined up for next weekend, right? Yes, this is super cool. We have completely put fresh sand down in our arena um, and some dirt. It has taken a lot of work uh, to do that for an arena. Um, we've completely turned that dirt over, which is a lot, a lot of work. So it's finally ready for people to come in and have their horses burn off maybe some of that energy that they haven't really been able to do because of the winter uh, season. Um, and maybe if you want to get into an arena area and practice um, some good groundwork, enjoying a nice trot around a brand new sanded arena, it's really Really good exercise on your horse as well to get their hooves into that sand and pick it up. That's a really nice exercise for their body. And that is on February 6th between uh, 10 and 12 in our arena. So it's still at the Arrow main location, but it is the arena that is in on the northern part of our property. There you go. That is awesome. So if people want to get information on Purdy, maybe you can have a picture taken with Purdy in a couple of weeks. Uh, what's the easiest place to, uh, easiest place to go? That's going to be arl-iowa.org. All right. You take care of yourself this weekend, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Purdy. Good job. <laughs> we will be right back, folks.